Hello everyone, and welcome to No Man's Sky. I, so this is my second attempt at recording this, <laughs> because I recorded an entire episode of this, and then found out that OBS could not handle it at the settings it was at. And the whole video was, like, not good. <laughs> Um, but anyway, um, so this is No Man's Sky Beyond. I figured this was a good time to start No Man's Sky because we're playing the Beyond update just came out. Oh yay, the toxicity of this planet's even higher than the last one. Oh, the radiation is much less, so we'll see what happens. Last was a red planet. But yeah, I've noticed that they updated a lot with the No Man's Sky Beyond update. And so I said, well, it's a, basically a brand new game, which tends to happen regularly with No Man's Sky. Um, so I thought, hey, let's start it up, you know? Yay! Initialization sequence complete. Alright, so our first task is to go in and switch to first person view. Scanner is damaged and I need ferrite dust for that. Just as we did last time. I just don't like the fact that this starts me off on a planet like this. But I think every... Um, I think all of the... Ever since, like, one of the first few updates for No Man's Sky, um, I think that them starting you off on a hazardous planet like this has been a regular thing because it teaches you all the stuff that you need so that said again this is my second attempt at this um so unfortunately you're not going to get some of the reactions i had last time and i might kind of go a little faster to try and just get through this section um like for example when i did this the last time I was freaking out over the fact that mining these dihydrogen crystals sometimes give you these cool crystal shards, which are worth like a lot of money. Um, and now you won't get that, unfortunately, because I already know about that feature. So, that's why I'm mining dihydrogen crystals a lot. Wow, nothing. I wonder if the carbon crystals do it too. I should mine up the carbon crystals either way. So that I can get the carbon from my mining laser. Because last time I ran completely out of carbon. It was not fun. Boop. Yay! Fully charged mining beam. Any more sodium nearby? Yeah, all the way over there. And I'll find the starship here in a minute. I do like the carbon crystals because they do give you compressed carbon. Which is really neat. So. There we go. Crystal fragment. So if I go in here and I do this, and right there I got dihydrogen, but last time I did that, I got some really cool stuff out of it. Um, I got something that sold for several hundreds of thousands of units. So I'm kind of wanting to get that again if the game will let me. Toxic protection falling. Yeah, I'm working on it. Trying to get me some sodium. Just give me a minute. Uh, 
Sodium was over here. It disappeared when I did the scan. <laughs> I don't know why. It's like loading things in as I'm going. It's kind of weird. It's an odd feature that didn't used to be. Oh, there it is. Like, that wasn't the way that No Man's Sky worked before, but I guess it's how it works now? I don't know. Alright. Um, you know what? Let's get that advanced ion battery. Let's recharge it. I definitely want to mine out dihydrogen, mostly because I know that I'm going to need it later, and also because um, I know that it gives me those crystal fragments sometimes, and that would be nice to get my hands on. Geode, sweet. So the geodes are the same thing as the crystal fragments. Um, from what I can tell, you just get them from like rocks instead of the crystals. And they can give you like ferrite and stuff like that too. So if I go into here and I do this, see I just got more ferrite dust. Which I am mining ferrite dust because I know that I will need ferrite dust. So. I'm going to go in and make sure that I have it. In fact, I'm going to need a lot of ferrite dust if I want to build a base. So, but that will come later. For now, our main thing is we need to get up here to the starship. But I'm just going to sit here and mine some ferrite dust. Because I know I need it. I know I need it. So. Ferrite, a.k.a. iron. Oh hey, letting go of the button doesn't automatically reset your mining beam anymore. I'm so used to that that I didn't even notice. Yeah, it actually like goes down and then if you click while it's going down, it stops where you stop at. That's cool. No more cheesing it with the mining beam. It used to be that you could just click, hold, go till it was like red, and then immediately let go and then click it again, and it would immediately set it to zero and start building again. But now that's not a thing anymore. They've actually fixed that. I'm glad to see that, because that was a bug. I knew it was a bug, <laughs> but that's just the way it worked, so that I just kind of developed this habit of utilizing that and now that that's not a feature I have to learn not to do that anymore I actually watch my mining beam now go ahead and restock here we go here's our starship I thought this was pretty cool. They've changed up the way that the starship, um, like you finding your starship works in Beyond here. Protection of 
This machinery needs pure ferrite. Of course, I have no way of getting at the moment. And that's that. All right. <coughs> Distress begin. Scenario, iteration, a bunch of numbers. Boundary, separation, failure, likely. Last time I actually read all of them. <laughs> Vessel 16 emptied. Cause sentinel intervention, deliberate transfer. Analysis, fresh iteration generated. Anomaly containment, proceed, prepared. Broadcast. Broadcast received. Travel anomaly detected. Anomaly is compliant. Position logged. System integrity scan initialized. Investigate the crashed ship. I didn't like that plan. <laughs> Iteration 23948290849249. G online. <laughs> Atlas connection intermittent launch thrusters offline. Pulse engine offline. Find myself alone in a strange world, unequipped and in danger. I've no memory of how I got here. No sense of it before. But the ship at least seems to recognize me. Whoops. The controls react to my touch, or at least to that of my exosuit. I'm not dead yet, and the ship is a lifeline out of the stars. Connect exosuit. Log from 4925A unavailable. Substituting data. Exosuit connected. Suggestion pilot should perform maintenance. Select desired repair path. Self-guided repair protocols initiated. All right, launch thrusters critically damaged. Let's eat to exit. And now I need hermetic seal and metal plating. I think I can make the metal plating. So let's do that. And then it's gonna want me to get back inside the ship. Iteration, same numbers. Functional. Starship critically damaged, vital ingredients missing. Unable to synthesize required components. Pulse engine requires hermetic seal. Quest assistance. Recommendation. Iteration comparison reveals hermetic seal nearby. Salvage planetary chart from distress beacon cache. Distress beacon. Appear inside the beacon's housing. As well as its distress broadcast unit, it, obtain, it contains a planetary chart. And this is new. I hadn't ever seen this before. Map of a nearby planet. The coordinates of a distress signal have been marked. Click the map and use plot route to pin the location in your exosuit display. New maps can be gained by Exchanging navigation data with a space station cartographer. Interesting. So that's something new that they added, which I think is cool. Not too far away, I noticed. And it certainly wasn't close, but... Yep. Floating oxygen plants. Good job, game. You really did a good job with that one. There's a ravine. I remember somebody mentioning, uh, they said that this is basically Minecraft, just with way better graphics. And I kind of agree. <laughs> Like, a lot of this game is very reminiscent of Minecraft. That probably requires an advanced mining laser. But these do not. Alright. Ooh, cool. Sodium. 
Toxic rainstorm approaching. Yeesh. Coded coordinates are still 700 away. Let me just grab, go ahead and grab out this, whatever it is. Just looks like some dihydrogen. This is terrible. I'm actually a little sad because the last world, uh, the last time I played, when I was recording last time, I had a structure like right at where I spawned like it was right next to my ship so I didn't have to run through the super the the big storm here like I'm having to do now nitrate good thing I've got lots of sodium now charge your hazard protection with sodium scanner to locate sodium more over there. I see an Na plus, which is sodium nitrate. But can I get that? It's usually a crystal. I think that requires the advanced mining laser. Yes, it does. Okay, well, I'll just hit the sodium rich plant then. So that's a little unfortunate, but oh well. Oh, hi. was gonna let me use E. Alright, that's interesting. Hmm, that's new. The protection is falling. Atlas Pass version 1 required. Of course I don't have that yet. I say, where's this thing? <laughs> 300. Okay. It's still falling. Don't think I'm going to make it there by the time my um, tox before my toxic protection wears off. Whoa! Definitely not if I keep getting stuck on things. Okay, let's go ahead and recharge. I used 10 sodium nitrates. It didn't get me all the way up, but that's okay. I really didn't want to recharge if I could avoid anyway. Because I knew that I was going to get here and I wasn't going to need to recharge. Hey! Storm went away. Cool. Oh man, the original run of this was a lot better. Also, my encoder says it is overloading. Accessing archive 67 logs corrupted. Entry no, number 4924A follows. No one, make, no one making this recording case, leaving behind in the fabricator. Might be of some use. This visor damaged. Can't find ship. Hog finishes and the machine wears to life. Spitting out supplies. I have the hermetic seal I need to repair my ship. Whoever it was that led me here, whoever left this message, perhaps they found themselves in the same situation as I do now. I always wonder if that's just me. Like maybe I was here. And that was just me. Terminal online. Universal Translation Service reached. Lifeform Dictionary available. Learn the Gek word for Gek. It's almost always the first word that you learn. Just about every race, I think, the first word that you learn is their race, la race name. Use Analysis Visor. To find ship. Analysis visor requires installation. Now, I believe I needed carbon nanotubes for that. Yes. 
we go. Yay! I can analyze stuff. Alright, you have to actually click on it now. I remember encountering that last time that you actually had to click on it. Is there a way to turn off tutorials? Never, like, I haven't found that anywhere. Todd. Damage numbers. Hold to confirm. Like, I haven't seen that anywhere. How to turn off. Um, tutorials. Hmm. I don't know. They're at 20. Nope, oh, I've already analyzed that. I do like that you have to hold the button now, though. It's not automatic. Because there were so many times where the automatic scanner just didn't work. And I feel like this will work better. Actually having to, like, hold the button to scan it yourself. Need to find red things. I found a lot of stuff already, so. Said I haven't found any animals. Last world I had, I started out and there were like six animals right next to me, and I was sad. Because I didn't get to use my analysis visor. Pulpy Roots. Item required to catalog. Pulpy Roots. That's definitely new. I also had that in the last one where I encountered something like that. I was like, that's new. Ooh, this is also new. What is this? Jade Peas. Hmm. I know they added cooking into this. It's one, one what the uh, the patch note said is that cooking is now in it. So I'm wondering if all this new stuff I'm finding like that is cooking supplies, maybe. I doubt I can do anything here, but let's see. Uh, nope. Chromatic metal. <laughs> Nowhere even close to getting that yet. Like, that's... That, that's long after... Like, I would leave the planet, basically. Like, I can't do that till I'm practically at the point where I'm building a base. I can do it a little bit before, but not by much. Yeah, I know. I know my toxic protection is reduced, being reduced. Should be able to get some carbon from these crystals, though. Not from the big one, but from all these small ones. This one requires the advanced mining laser. What the heck is attacking me? There it is. All right, just going to go ahead and mine up this dihydrogen again. I'm actually very sad that I haven't gotten anything good out of the 
crystal fragments yet. In fact, I've only really gotten just that one crystal fragment. Suggest item via suit nutrient system. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know what... I don't know what that does. The food nutrient system. I guess we'll find out as we go along. I'm sure we'll reach a point where it's like, oh hey, you know. Gotta scan it. Oh, here's something new. All these little tiny rocks, though. Yay, another crystal fragment. Yeah, yeah, toxic protection falling. Anything good? Nope, just dihydrogen. Dang! Like I said, last time I found three. Right at the beginning of the game. And one of the things I got was some something worth hundreds of thousands of units. I was like, that's insane. Now I'm like trying. Especially, like, I'm a little upset that that last episode was so off. Because I had done a lot in that last episode. In fact, we're at 26 minutes, and I was farther along in that last episode. And I knew less of what I was doing. <laughs> Hey, another crystal shard. Another one. Neat. I'll probably end this episode off. Ooh. There we go. Storm crystal. 129,000. That's what it was. A rare and highly valuable cluster of storm crystals. These crystalline structures thrive in stormy conditions and naturally attract lightning strikes, becoming spectacularly luminous and one ionized. Effectively found, exclusively found on extreme weather planets. Used for building and crafting. Cool. That's what it was that I found though, was that. It was for the 129,000 freaking units. It's nuts. I'm so glad I was able to find one. <laughs> that way I didn't have to worry about whether or not you guys believed me. I can just show it to you right there. Oh hey, sweet root. I found that last time too. I actually found more nutrient plants this time around. Alright, we're almost back to the ship now though. And open the container. So it's these. Gotta search the crystals. Gotta try to get crystal shards. Hey, crystal fragment. Nope, just more dihydrogen. I've thought about, like, not analyzing the crystals because they're worth more than the dihydrogen that they turn into. But at the same time, the Storm crystals are worth even more. I'd hate to sell one and then that was the one. I'd hate to sell one for like 2,000 units and then that was the one that would have gotten me the freaking um, storm crystal. Hey, now the lunch lusters. Need dihydrogen jelly. Actually, didn't have a dihydrogen jelly automatically this time. There we go. I need pure ferrite. 
Now it's going to tell me to make a refiner. I need metal plating. And then I just need to craft the refiner. Alright then. Um, I guess uh, at this point I just have to kind of wait for this to refine. Wow! Processing 365. Also, it's processing a lot faster. So that's neat. So repair launch thrusters. Alright. Boom. Further along than we were last time. I got a working ship now. Awesome. Starship repaired. Launch systems online. All systems functional. Cannot pick up. Refinery not empty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a lot of space, it said. How much can I carry at once? Oh my god, 338? These used to stack to 250. Carry 493 dihydrogen jelly? Like, what the heck? Wow. Also, that compressed carbon I put in just turned into regular carbon. So, ouch. Oh well. Alright, well, uh, in the next episode, we will launch. So, I do hope you've enjoyed. If you have, feel free to subscribe. Check the video description down below for a link to the playlist. Um, there will be more episodes, so this is just the first one. And with that, I'll see you all next time. See you later.